Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very very special surprise and of course that is a review on the Lockheed L2000. Uh, so basically Northern Wings decided to give me one SST that I have to do a review on so I chose this. So, let's go over its stats. The max speed is 1,800 knots. The stall speed is 185 knots, making it like, what, uh, 20 knots faster than the 2707. But that's pretty much the only downside of it compared to the 2707. Let's just quickly find it on 2K real quick. Uh, the service ceiling is 23.3 kilometers which is really really high up so you can get very high amounts of fuel savings. The range is 293 kilometers, although I don't actually notice any difference from this plane to the 2707 in practical useful range. The capacity is 46, allowing it to go to Inokusen, and it's the same as the 2707 and only two less than the Tupolev 244. Anyways, let me just take a job on it, and this job will pay fairly well since it of course is from a plane with 46 capacity. Now of course, since this is a SST, flying it will be harder, so I'll be demonstrating a pretty decent way of flying this plane without burning off your fuel and trying and making you have to try to land it with like 4% fuel left or something like that. So once you take off, you want to go full vertical, just acquire space shuttle status. Alright. At 12 kilometers, you want to start uh, slowing the climb because uh, at 900 knots, you can only go up to 16 kilometers before you start stalling. Alright, 16 kilometers, and then turn the afterburners off. That's as high as you need the afterburners. And just climb normally and wait for the plane to pick up some speed, which will take some time. And maybe reduce the climb a little bit, you know? Also, I just want to point out the nose does nothing on this plane. Unlike the Concorde, which acts as a speed brake. Also, the acceleration should be buff since it is an SST after all and it's using like fighter jet engines and stuff like that. So we should accelerate a bit faster than a jet because right now where Remos puts this thing to shame. You shouldn't forget that this plane can actually go to 23 thousand meters which is quite high up allowing for amazing fuel savings so you should probably aim to get to that altitude instead of staying up at 18,000 meters which is the altitude that most SST pilots are used to if you're flying Concorde that would be like 17,000 meters or something like that now if you're doing a Valois to Inokusen flight once you cross to the ocean from Avalon, uh, if you have more than at least 25% uh, fuel, you should be able to make it. Since we have 42% fuel, we have more than enough fuel to make it. Uh, I just want to quickly go over how you're going to obtain this. This is obtained from Clarence International Airport, of course. 185,000 WP. It's an orange, so that's a 0.1% chance. You can also buy it off of resellers, although those are super inflated right now. However, you're not really stuck between a rock and a hard place, or at least you're not going to be stuck in that place for any longer since 
the devs are talking about a possible change to the dealership system. It, that includes something called mystery points, and you fly like an hour, and then you get like uh, X amount of mystery points, and then you can use the mystery points to force a rare plane to spawn, basically, which would allow everyone to get their hands on something like this without having to wait for I don't know days, weeks, months at the dealer. Anyway, something cool about this plane is that you can effectively glide down from over 125 kilometers away, which means you're if you're 100 if you're within the 125 kilometers of your destination, you can just cut power and start gliding. And your plane will make it. It will hover around like the 300 knots mark for quite a while. Yes, this will add some time to it, but it allows you to save a lot of fuel, and fuel is very very expensive on this thing. So let us actually just try gliding real quick. Whoops. Yeah, that was not a plan at all. Just pitch the nose down a little bit. Yeah, that should be about fine. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. What can go wrong? Uh, let me lower the gears, uh, lower the nose. Now, of course, if you look to the top, this has taken me 15 minutes to do, which is quite a long time, but you could cut this to something like 9 minutes. And I'm just saying this again, you don't have to glide to save fuel. You can still make a profit with 10% fuel remaining, which allows you to fly to a much closer distance and then glide or just straight up descend right on top of the airport. Alright, there we go. We've stopped. 18,000 money and 11,000 WP. You can actually make positive money with this even if you repair after every flight. And you could make some 2,000 money profit, even with 10% fuel remaining. Pretty decent plane. So my verdict is get this plane. If you can get it, then get it. If you can't, settle for an alternative. For example, a Boeing 2707 or a Tupolev 244, depending on whichever one comes up first. Anyways, that is my short and quick review on the L2000. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I will probably make another video on the 2707 very very soon. Bye!